Hey, Vic. Like the new threads? Terrifying. I need to use the phone. Yeah. Thanks for the coke, Martinez. <laughs> now you know how it feels to get fucked. Oh, you fucked us both, Vic. That coke you ripped off belonged to the Mendez brothers. I was just the shepherd. Now, we're all on their shit list. And the only way off is in a fucking bag. I'm turning states. I'm gonna ruin you, your brother, Mendez, everyone. Happy holidays. Lance! You useless, degenerate asshole! We don't have to worry about a thing! Once we sell the coke, we can pay off the feds and handle anything the Mendez brothers throw at us. Listen! I got a buyer! Let's go see him! Why don't you come back? Please hurry, why don't My man is filming some Z-list movie over at the mall. They only let him shoot at night, so we better get over there pronto. So I'm gonna be honest, this is probably one of my least favorite missions in this game, and it's not because of difficulty or anything like that, um, because, you know, there are uh, quite a good handful of missions throughout the Grand Theft Auto series that are notorious for giving people difficulty and some problems there, you know, such as those RC vehicle missions in Vice City and San Andreas, which, you know, let me tell you, those can cause you to become quite flaccid there. You know, after having a grand old time uh, with the rest of those games, you know, because they're awesome games, but they have those unfortunate smudge marks due to those missions. But, um, you know, it's not because of anything like that. It's uh, just because of general boredom, you know, or at least I find it to be that way. I mean, that's just my own opinion. You know, it's not fact or anything like that. But, uh, you know, once we get to the core of the mission, you can kind of formulate your own opinions if you haven't played this game before. Um, which, at that core of the mission, uh, what we have going on is uh, basically an exchange uh, through actions there, as this film director person who is making a Z-list film, which stands for zombie, you know, Z-list does not mean that it's a terrible film, because, you know, Z is the last letter of the alphabet there, but, um, you know, we're going to be helping out this guy in making his film, so that way, in exchange, he will buy our Coca-Cola that we have stashed away at Lance's uh, sweet-ass apartment that he now has. And also, I like that suit that he's wearing. You know, it's a pretty uh, flashy suit there. Um, but yeah, you know, that's what we have going on. We're gonna help this guy out and uh, try not to fall asleep during the process. Hey, Spitz! You looking for inspiration? I got all you need! All I need, huh? A stuntman's what I need. We've got to wrap this scene before the mall opens. Vic can handle your stunts. Meanwhile, you and I can talk snow business. Ah, uh, you see that there, Lance has some wordplay for us. Uh, you know, he's saying snow business instead of, uh... <laughs> show business, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's a real knee slapper there from Lance. Uh, you know, I gotta say, though, uh, I do appreciate the way that Lance dives into this creepy and deep-sounding voice when he says snow business, because he says it like, snow business. And it's just kind of sinister sound sounding, and I almost expected him to start breathing heavily on top of me at that point. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, instead, what we have going on here is uh, Vic and this lady fella fighting off this swarm of zombies, slowly but surely working their way on over to us, as well as falling from the second floor, like how poop pellets fall from an anus into a toilet bowl. And, uh, I mean, uh, we do have this timer and this score meter to add this concept of, you know, there being a bit of a uh, desperation in the air, you know, kind of providing a bit of octane to this a kind of underwhelming sequence of events. Um, but it's not really doing the trick, because it's not that difficult to maintain that gore meter, because the shotgun's very powerful. And, of course, the shotgun has spread, so you can hit multiple zombies at once if they're clustered close together. So, I don't know. I mean, it's just a pretty f straightforward type of thing. I would honestly prefer if that sequence took place in, like, a smaller section of the mall, like maybe... You're behind the counter at one of those, I guess, food stands on the first floor in the main section of the mall, or, I, I don't know, something, maybe a small alleyway or corridor somewhere, but, um, you know, that was a pretty open area, so 
there really wasn't a whole lot of challenge to that because it's so open. Of course, the shotgun, I mean, I guess in a smaller area, a shotgun would be very effective too as a weapon. So I don't know. I mean, I, I'm maybe I'm just being really nitpicky and expecting the world from a game that has a lot of technical limitations because it came out on the PSP. So I should probably calm my pants a little bit there, you know, I should uh, I should lay off this mission a little bit. But um, I will say that the second part of this mall sequence um, is kind of my own fault for it being so easy, because as you can see, we're just targeting these zombies with the R1 button, and then grabbing them using the triangle button, and then kind of snapping their necks, it seems, by pressing the triangle button again to release them. So um, I don't know what causes that, but for some reason, when you release them after grabbing them, they just collapse to the ground, so... <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, I find it a bit more entertaining than using the katana, which is a bit surprising, because I do like uh, using the katana in these Grand Theft Auto games, but, yeah, not so much here, you know, I prefer, uh, you know, grabbing them a little bit, maybe uh, giving them a nice kiss on the cheek there, or <laughs> get over here. I am my brother's keeper. We got the deal. We're made for life! Let's go pick up the yayo! So this part of the mission where we have to take Lance back on over to his apartment is the reason why, while on the drive over to the mall, we exchanged his white infernus for this pretty pink PCJ. Uh, lots of pee going on there, and I'm into it. Uh, but, you know, the reason why we exchanged uh, his vehicle for this one is because the PCJ is the preferred method of travel in pretty much any situation. Uh, because it's just already a very fast vehicle, but also because you can use the exploitation of game mechanics there by repeatedly tapping forward while driving a bike, which causes you to gain this insane amount of acceleration. So it just makes traveling a lot faster and, uh, you know, it's just a convenience type of thing, you know, it's a, a quality of life. Uh, upgrade, I guess, over an already pretty awesome vehicle, but yeah, this vehicle's even awesomer. So don't let the size of it deceive you, you know, size uh, doesn't always matter, as this thing still pounds these holes of traffic quite nicely. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice little segue, though, into this uh, other thing I wanted to comment on, which was uh, the zombies back there at the mall making noises. I mean, they kind of sounded a bit dirty in what they were doing, but honestly, they kind of sounded like me after Inchilada Night. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Hey, we're rich! <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Ah, uh, never mind, man. Just get the yayo. Yeah, it's in the spare room. <laughs> oh, shit! What? It's gone! What? And Mom's stuff is gone, too! Oh, oh, Mom! Lance! Ain't that a bitch? I can't believe she took our coke! Yeah. So what do we do now, moron? Wait, wait. Let me think. I know we can make it right. We'll just, uh, uh, uh we'll explain things to the men to his brothers, you know- Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sure. And between chopping us up and feeding us to their dogs, they'll be very understanding. Lance, if we get out of this, I'm gonna kill you! Asshole! Hi. Well, considering that we're the main characters here, I think we'll have no problem at some point getting out of this hole, which uh, is music to my ears, if I'm being completely honest, because let me tell you, uh, this hole seems to just be chafing my veins a little bit, and I'm not a fan. But uh, it seems we have a pager message from Spitz. If you want to film Snow White, see Rennie up at the film studios. So, we now have a new mission strand unlocked for this Rennie character, but we're not going to dive into doing those missions just yet. We're going to unlock this next mission, which can be unlocked um, after completing this mission that we've just completed, but there is another prerequisite to unlocking that mission that I want to do next, and that is to own five Empire buildings. So, I'll be going over... Uh, one specific type of empire type of activity that you can do for those buildings across Vice City. So that's the plan of action. And then after doing that, we'll do the next mission that I want to do before doing Rennie's missions. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense there. But um, it'll obviously make sense as we move forward with these videos. So 
uh, that's what we'll be doing in the next part, Empire business there. So until then, I will see you next time.